Wow, the view from up here is awesome. Long stretching beaches just full of people and it's 70 degrees here in November. Can you guess where we are? Anyone? Anyone? This is Myrtle Beach, baby. Myrtle Beach is an absolute diamond in the rough, and we started exploring this Atlantic Coast Pearl from over 20 stories in the air. On the Skywheel, talk about an elevated perspective. While we were enjoying a perfect blend of ocean breezes, boardwalk action, and spectacular views, we walked right across the street from the Skywheel and this time got launched like a rocket on the slingshot. Are you kidding? This thing propels guests more than 300 feet into the air at speeds of over 100 miles an hour. Get ready for an adrenaline rush that you'll never, ever forget. Okay, all right. I think we should just slow it down a bit. Let's head south along the Grand Strand to Brook Green Gardens. Brook Green Gardens was established in 1931. It's a National Historic Landmark. It's also an outdoor museum, a garden, and we have a, the only accredited zoo on the coast of the Carolinas. Stroll the gardens on a guided tour or explore these beautiful spaces on your own. Man, I could spend the entire day here. Seriously, I love this place. All total, it's about 9,100 acres and stretches from the Waccamaw River to the Atlantic Ocean. All right, now that we've seen the south end of Myrtle Beach, let's head north past the Sky Wheel where we started to Broadway at Beach, where you'll find shopping, adventure, and dining. We started at Wonderworks. Here, you can just let your imagination run wild. This place makes me feel like a kid again. It's an amusement park for the mind. From the piano to the extreme 360 bike, <laughs> I, I can't get enough. Talk about an adventure around every corner. Can I just say, oceans of fun for everyone. Okay, that was a little overboard, but you have to check this place out. Man, I gotta bring my grandkids back here. Here at Ripley's Aquarium, one of the kids' favorite things to do when they come to see us is in our Friendship Flats area, they actually get to lay on their stomachs on the rocks that are right there and stick their hands in the water and pet a stingray. Well, you know I love food, right? And entertainment. And I heard that right here in the Broadway at the Beach area, I can find both. And I did. This is none other than the famous Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. More than just a restaurant, this place is a venue. You know, in 1977, when Jimmy Buffett pinned down the words of the song Margaritaville from Key West, it wasn't just about a restaurant. It was about a state of mind, whether it's a hammock on the beach, a live music with a land shark in their hand or a margarita. All ages can come here just like a Jimmy Buffett concert and have a great time. And the food? Well, as you probably know, Jimmy's song about the cheeseburger inspired that. And ah, uh, look at the nachos. All right, I'm officially stuffed, thoroughly entertained, and frankly amazed. Let me just say, thank you, South Carolina, and thank you, Myrtle Beach. Hey, thanks for joining us on another adventure. I'm Dan, the RCI Guy. We'll see you next time.